Hello, this video is going to help you understand the basics of the admission, review, and dismissal committee meeting, known as the ARD meeting. We'll focus on virtual ARD meetings during this COVID-19 period. There is a great deal of information in this video. You can keep track of where you are and even move up and back by watching the sections on the left of the screen. If you want to replay a section or skip ahead, you'll always know where you are. Like a lot of information in the special education world, this can all be a bit overwhelming. So we'll try to make this information as clear as possible, giving you just the essentials of what you need to know. The ARD committee is the group of people who come together to decide on eligibility for special education. The ARD committee will also write, review, and possibly revise your child's Individualized Education Program, or IEP. The ARD committee will meet at least once a year. Since the IEP describes the goals that your child will focus on, it is very important that all required members of the ARD team, including you, take part in developing it. Because of coronavirus, remote learning, and social distancing, many ARD committees are agreeing to meet virtually on conference calls or online platforms like Zoom, Skype, or Google Meet. ARD meetings can be overwhelming. Meeting virtually might feel even more overwhelming. This video will break down the meeting so that you can know what to expect and prepare for before, during, and after the meeting. As the parent or guardian, you can request an ARD meeting for your child at any time. Your child's school must respond to your written request and let you know if they agree. Assuming the meeting is scheduled, the school will send you an invitation at least five school days before the meeting. You can meet sooner if you and the school agree to an earlier date. The invitation will tell you the location, who will be there, and what will be discussed. The invitation should also give you the name and phone number of a staff member to contact before the meeting. If you need an interpreter, check the invitation to make sure the school will provide one. Next, you should make sure you are ready for an online meeting. Ask the contact from the invitation which online platform will be used for the meeting and for advice for making sure everything goes smoothly. Feel free to share any concerns you might have about connecting to the meeting. Also, have a backup plan. For example, maybe print the documents ahead of time if you can, or ask that printed documents be sent to you. Be sure to charge your device and be ready with a dial-in number in case your internet connection doesn't work. If you have something you'd like to show the group, such as samples of your child's work, ask how best to get it to the team members ahead of time. You might be able to share your computer screen during the meeting, but you could even take a photo of these samples with your phone and send them ahead of time. Be sure to request a copy of any draft IEP documents the school might have prepared, or even a copy of the most recent IEP. When the virtual ARD meeting begins, you can ask for an agenda to make it easier to follow along. It's always a good idea to mute your microphone when you're not speaking during the meeting. The other committee members should do this too. Once the meeting begins, all committee members should introduce themselves and explain the role they play in your child's education. Remember, you're a very important member of this committee. You are a partner with the school and you are making important decisions for your child. If this is your child's first ARD meeting, you may feel nervous. Most families do, but school staff are there to help you understand the process. If at any point during the meeting you don't agree with something that is being discussed or decided, be sure to speak up. This helps the team work towards agreement during the meeting instead of waiting until the end. Also, your child can take part in the meeting if you and the school feel this is what is right for them. Here are the different parts of the ARD meeting. If this is your child's first ARD meeting, you will first discuss and decide on special education eligibility. This includes whether your child has a disability condition and whether your child needs special education and related services. Special education is specially designed instruction that is individualized just for your child's needs. If this is a review or annual ARD meeting, 
the team will review your child's eligibility and may discuss a re-evaluation report. If your child is eligible for services, the committee will then go through the rest of the ARD meeting agenda. First, the team will discuss present levels of academic achievement and functional performance, or PLAFP. This is where everyone will talk about your child's strengths and needs. This discussion will focus on how your child's disability impacts them in school. You should talk about what your child does well and what you think is most important for them to learn. You might want to talk about what you noticed during at-home schooling. Members of the team from the school will talk about your child's skills in reading, math, writing, behavior, communication, and other functional skills. Next, the team will discuss your child's annual goals. The school may have drafted some goals for discussion. Goals come from the PLAFP and address important skills that your child needs to learn in one school year. Your child might have goals in academic areas like reading or math, or in speech, behavior, or social skills. These goals should be clear and measurable, so you can tell if your child is making progress towards them. They should represent the high expectations that you have for your child, and they should be rigorous goals that your child can reach within a year. You will also discuss how these goals will be measured and when you can expect to receive updates. In a review ARD meeting, progress on your child's goals will be reviewed. You will discuss the special education services they will receive. These include the services your child needs to make progress toward their goals, make progress in their schoolwork, including activities outside of class, and to participate in school alongside students without disabilities as much as possible. The services your child will receive should be very clear. You should know what they receive, how often and for how long, as well as where the services are provided. The ARD team will also discuss any accommodations or modifications that your child needs. Accommodations are supports that help your child access learning. They don't change what your child actually learns. Modifications, meanwhile, actually change what your child is expected to learn. Here are some other things the ARD committee meeting might discuss during the meeting district and state assessments, like STAR testing, extended school year, or ESY services outside of the regular school calendar, and any additional needs or topics related to your child's learning. At the end of the meeting, a committee member will summarize what has been discussed and decided. In a virtual meeting, ARD committee members will not be able to sign the ARD document in person, the school will let you know if they are using electronic signatures and will explain how to use them. Throughout the meeting, if anything is unclear, ask. In fact, be sure to ask questions during this meeting. A couple of good questions are, is there somewhere I can go for support, such as an organization or a group of families of children with special needs? Who do I contact if I have more questions? You will receive a copy of your child's IEP after the meeting. Let the school know how you want them to send it to you, whether through postal mail or email. Ask the school when you will receive a copy. You will receive IEP progress reports on a regular basis, often at the same time report cards are issued. The IEP progress report shows the progress your child is making towards their goals. Please talk with your child's teachers about steps you can take to support your child's learning and to help them continue their progress. What if your child isn't making progress? Sometimes a student needs more support or services. Your child's teachers might change the way they're working with your child or may come up with new strategies. You should talk with your child's teacher or request an ARD meeting if you have any concerns about your child's lack of progress. The ARD committee will meet at least once a year to review your child's IEP and to come up with new goals and any needed accommodations or services. Don't forget, you are an important member of this committee. Plan to attend every ARD meeting, whether in person, online, or over the phone. Again, we know that entering into this world of special education can be overwhelming, but there's another way to look at it. There's a whole team of dedicated, knowledgeable people prepared to rally around your student 
to make sure they have the educational experience they need and deserve. When you and that team work together, your child can achieve their goals.